let us uh, further beef up the concepts of linear circuit analysis by understanding some of the basic terminologies uh, that are used in circuit analysis. So let me draw a given circuit. So we have an element here. Let me label these uh, as well. The first thing that we need to understand is the concept of the branch. So branch is, it is actually any two terminal element is known as a branch in a given circuit. So you can see here there are one, two, three, four, five, six. So there are six uh, branches in this given circuit. And this is branch is equal to the number of the elements in a given circuit. So if it, it is often required uh, for, a, for solving a given circuit to find out the current and the voltage across and uh, through and across a particular uh, branch and that branch indicates that particular element. So whenever you are asked to find out the total number of branches in a given circuit, you just need to count what are the total number of elements in that given circuit. And those elements require all the two terminal devices that are connected in a particular circuit. The second thing here is, it is the nodes. Node is a point where two or more elements connect. Two or more elements or branches are connected or they are combined. So it is actually a point here. So now if we see here, we have in this particular uh, in this particular circuit this is node number one this point is node number two this point is node number three let us say this is node number four and this is node number five notice here that this point and this point they do not have any other element which is connected uh, in between and therefore this point is also node number five so this actually uh, replicates that we have a direct path uh, between node number one and node number five without having any other component uh, in between. So there are, in this particular circuit, we have total number of, we have five nodes are connected in this given circuit. Now you should notice one, one thing here that in this particular circuit, we have some nodes where more than two elements connect. For instance, this node number two, it has element number two, four and three, they are connecting at this particular uh, point. Also, we have node number five, where we have element number one, three and six, they are connecting. Such nodes are known as the essential nodes. So let me write it here as well. So there are, in this particular circuit, we have two essential nodes are there, which is node number two and node number five. Another concept in circuit analysis is the concept of the mesh and the loop. So any, so mesh is, sorry, it is the smallest close path in a circuit. Whereas the loop is defined as any closed path in a circuit. So you can see here, we have this is a smallest closed path available and hence it is known as a mesh. Because this mesh do not contains any other uh, mesh within. So let me call this one M. &M. Also we have this particular closest pass is also the M or the mesh. However, if you see, uh, if I go on the outer periphery of the circuit starting from uh, element number one and then back at this particular uh, node one, this particular, uh, you know, highlighted area is known as a loop. It is not a mesh because this loop contains two mesh uh, within, its, uh, within its boundary. So, a loop and a mesh are two very important concepts that are used widely for the uh, application of the electrical laws and uh, in the application of the advanced techniques that we will study later on. Before we move ahead using the concept of the nodes, how convenient it is to identify if, if different looking circuits are actually the same. So we have uh, these 
for instance we have a voltage source here and we have these resistances here and let me say that we have a resistance here and a resistance here one node is this one and then we have another node at this particular point and the third node is here so the one thing which is inst which instantly comes in our mind is that anything that if we redraw this circuit the element node should not be changed so maybe i can i can equate this with this particular circuit i can i think i can equate this with this particular circuit this is node number 1 and between this if this is r1 this is r2 this is r3 and this is r4 then you should notice that r1 and r2 are connected between node number 1 and 3 so this is r1 this is r3 this is node number 3 in between this we have this node number 2 and we have this r3 connected with the negative side of this voltage source which is connected also which is connected here sorry this is r2 this is r3 and this is the r4 so different looking circuits can be uh, can we, we can establish this that if they are the same circuits or not we do it by actually using the concepts of the uh, of the nodes another important point that we uh, i would like to highlight here is that there are certain circuits which are planar in nature and there are certain circuits which are non planar in nature so a planar circuit is a circuit where circuit can be drawn on a given plane let me draw a, let me draw a circuit so we have so planar circuit has no crossing branches right it can be drawn on a single paper no crossing branches so let me draw complete this particular circuit So we have we have these two crossing branches here. Now apparently it looks like that this circuit is a non-planar circuit. However, if we if we closely look onto this particular circuit, this particular resistance R X and R Y can be routed from the outside. So even if I if I do a little bit of you know modification in this particular circuit, such that I I connect this R4 through this particular point then there is no need of this uh, this particular uh, vertical line which is jumping over this rx so so i can i can erase this particular wire from from the circuit and hence the circuit will become a it will become a planar circuit however there are certain type of circuits where it is impossible to avoid the crossing over and those circuits are known as the non planar circuits in a non planar circuit there are there are crossing branches here and there is no way uh, we can actually avoid those crossing branches the concept of the planar circuits and the non planar circuits comes when we will study the mesh analysis and the nodal method and we will come to know that by virtue of the application of node method on the non planar circuits the nodal method is a much more stronger method than a uh, than a mesh current analysis so let me uh, draw the uh, draw this uh, uh, non planar circuit so just try it yourself and see if it is possible uh, to make it a planar circuit so i will draw a voltage source here and then i have a resistance here and another resistance here and then i have a resistance here a resistance here and then we have another resistance here let me draw a diagonal resistance here and another resistance here making sure that this actually is a planar circuit let me draw two more lines here from this particular point now if you see that this particular there are four crossing branches here one is one is this particular one another one is is this one and then we have this particular uh, uh, branch and this particular branch it is virtually not possible to draw this circuit 
uh, without having crossing branches uh, present so therefore this circuit is known as a non planar circuit so in the next class we will uh, start with the with the basic laws of uh, electrical engineering and we will see how the ohms law and the kcl and the kvl are applied in electrical engineering see you then take care goodbye